Hey guys, welcome to the Trump vs. Biden election prediction for 2020. This is based off the most recent polling as of April. I'm going to be analyzing recent trends, polls, and demographics, as well as a variety of features. Let us start off with the West Coast. Trump can blow a big, fat, minority-flavored chode if he thinks he's going to win California! Oricum, or washing my balls. There's just way too many potheads. And the polls, <laughs> my polls, my polls, they have them more than 20 points underwater for each state. Women are going to come out and grab Trump's nutties, his big dong testes, and bring him to a crushing defeat. As you can tell, I really hate people who live on the West Coast. Now, let's get to the states that really matter. Montana, Idaho, Nevada, and Arizona. The middle Americans are waking up to left-wing bullshit, and since Trump just gave black people, like, over a thousand dollars, he's gonna take their vote, so I can see Trump's, I can see Trump easily unifying the people of the Midwest with his unifying message in flipping Nevada, as well as carrying these states as well. Only 50.5% of Nevada's population is non-Hispanic white, and that is a really good thing, because it gives minorities a chance to walk away from the corrupt, do-nothing Democratic Party. You know, Trump's really made America great again, and the people of Nevada understand that. Hispanics for Trump are the future of the Republican Party. I don't give a shit about Montana or Idaho. It's, um, they're not going to go blue at all. Hang on. Let me ignore all the states that are going to go for Trump, because I know they're just going to go for Trump, because he won them. They're solid Republican strongholds. you look at that we are already at 129 votes I don't give a fuck about any Democrat Arizona elects it is a blood red state blood red Governor Doug Ducey has been the greatest governor Arizona has ever had. And the Latinx population will throw that taco down and get out for Trump. Demographics mean nothing. Let me show you the awesome power of MAGA. Trump will win this election. We're already at 140 votes. Joe Biden is going to go down hard. And he's going to be coming, I mean crying, all the way. As for Colorado, the creators of South Park came out as Republican 
in 2000. <laughs> that is big news. That is huge. Coming out as conservative is even harder than coming out as gay nowadays. Colorado is going to be perhaps the reddest state in the country because of this. Ruby red. It's going to be ruby red. Let me tell you something. I don't like old Mexico. So why would I like New Mexico? To be honest, I think it's going to be close. Biden will probably carry New Mexico by around 500 votes. It's going to be really close. But that just shows you the massive red wave that is upon us. And hell no, Beta O'Rourke did nothing to flip Texas blue. The state will go red. Dan Patrick wants Texans to sacrifice themselves to the coronavirus in order to save the economy. And Ted Cruz's Hispanic background will make Latinos red. <laughs> Lone Star Hellhole. <sighs> the Iceman cometh. That's all I have to say about that. The ethnic shithole of New York City will most likely bring the state into Biden's lustful hands, unfortunately. You know, I was walking in the Bronx once. I saw a black dude. Like, the fuck? The great state of New York is almost unified under the Make America Great Again cause, but it will be lost for now. As well, the kingdom of slit-eyed monks will be going to Joe Biden. This state will have its volcanoes sniffed hard. As for the swamp itself, there's going to be no malarkey here. Because with the results, Biden. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Ah, fuck. I just shot it. Sorry, I'm not bad at out. Oh, get it, get out. Shit my pants. Fuck. That's what I get for talking about the District of Columbia. Clum penis. Demonware, Delaware, with all satanic worshippers, will place a hex on Tara Reid, annihilating her cerebral cortex, sending her directly to hell. Thus, the state goes for Biden. Okay, click that, okay. Biden will also carry the wannabe Brits of Massachusetts, Connecticut, and Rhode Island. And, of course, the People's Republic of Vermont. You know, New England hates life and newborn babies. The glorious Governor Ron DeSantis will take Florida for Donald Trump. And his legion of elderly retireds who respect our flag will hand Trump the Sunshine State. Stacey Abrams, that mother fucking has failed to capture the state of Georgia. Georgia will go to Donald Trump. It's MAGA country. Trump's approval rating in North Carolina is positive. It's been consistent, so he's going to carry this state to London. You know... There's only one thing I can say about Minnesota. No! 
Minnesota. Yeah, it's going to go for Trump. You know who else loses Wisconsin and thus the presidency to Donald Trump? My mom! And Donald Trump with that carries 270 electoral votes and will win the presidency. Also, let me spell something out for you. Dementia! Biden is cognitively declining. And the people of the Rust Belt can see that, and they're going to vote for Trump. People in the Rust Belt help hate people who can't talk either. That is Joe Biden. Ralph Northam is a fucking racist. He hates guns, and as the president said, liberate Virginia. Virginia's going red. You know, the president debunked the myth of Chicago. I've never heard of this black paradise where crime runs rampant. We can all move on that a lot with our lives now that Chicago's proven to not be a thing. Trump carries the great Midwest because we all unite under his MAGA message. I predict that Trump will flip Maryland, as well as Jew Jersey. <laughs> Bob Menendez is a serial rapist. Jersey residents are sick of Hasidic and Orthodox Jews. They made a fat fuck governor, and they'll help make a fat fuck president. Polls only have New Jersey... Polls only have Trump down in New Jersey by about 12 points. The rhino governor of Maryland, Larry Hogan, will carry the state for Trump. Plus, Trump made Romney his bitch, so he will carry the country club, club states on Romney's asshole as well as pennsylvania because rust belt and of course the swamp itself dc will go to biden because they're literally just lizard people and boom there you have it trump's 395 to biden's 143 electoral wipeout